Welcome to an informative video for medical professionals on the effects and changes in the eye that cause presbyopia in an individual. The Mayo Clinic defines presbyopia as a gradual, age-related loss of the eye's ability to focus actively on nearby objects. To understand presbyopia, we need to understand first what parts are affected and how the eye's functional parts work together. Starting on the outside of the eye, the sclera is the outermost portion of the eye and has a white color to it. The cornea is almost an extension of this white layer, but is transparent and allows light to enter the eye. The choroid sits on the inside portion of the cornea and allows the light and the color-sensitive retina to sit directly upon it. The retina contains our rods and cones, allowing us to decipher light. The fovea is the center of your visual field and is located towards the back of the eye. The lens sits behind the open hole known as the pupil, and this pupil is held up by suspensory ligaments. The pupil adjusts its diameter depending on how bright the outside environment is. The pupil will dilate for darker environments, increasing its diameter, and will contract, reduce its diameter, for brighter environments. These ligaments are connected to the lens and are pulled by the ciliary body muscles to help the lens accommodate to near and far objects. When these muscles are contracted, the lens will stretch and adjust to help a person focus on farther away objects. When these same muscles are relaxed, the lens will fill out into an ovular shape, allowing a person to see objects closer to them. As we age, the elasticity of our lens decreases, making it harder for our lens to accommodate its size. This condition is what we call presbyopia. Bifocal glasses and or contacts are commonly used to help our eyes see appropriately. Thank you for watching.